I'm Carrie, this is Atan, and this is our daughter Savannah. We took a summer sabbatical and traveled down the St. Lawrence Seaway from Detroit, Michigan to St. John, New Brunswick. This was a 2,000 nautical mile journey through 15 commercial locks and took us two months to complete on our beautiful trimaran unleaded. We traveled through some hallmark Canadian cities and sailed by some beautiful coastal scenery. Here's a few glimpses of what we discovered. In this leg of the trip, we spent a few days in Toronto, visiting family, biking on the Toronto Island, and living the Royal Canadian Yacht Club life. We also made our way east to the Bay of Quinte, through the Murray Canal, and ran into a fellow trimaran. Hello, Toronto! CYC. Uh, we have the privilege of staying because we're members of Bayview Yacht Club in Detroit. So we gave them uh, a ring. The RCYC asked if we could stay and we're allowed to stay. So we are currently mooring. Um, there's three mooring balls that they have that I guess they give to <coughs> visitors. <laughs> and it's beautiful here. Very, very nice. Presqu'île Bay, which is just west of Bay of Quinte, and we're just going to head through the channel. Murray. Murray Canal. Murray Canal to get into the Bay of Quinte and head east. Um, our evening was beautiful. No waves, no wind, peace and quiet. Heard the loons. It was beautiful. Yeah. It's so eerie with all the fog. We are entering the Murray Canal. It connects Lake Ontario to Bay of Quinte, which is just west of Kingston on the north side of Lake Ontario. Okay, I have to put money in a little bucket to pay for this bridge. And then you get the change. We are motoring through the Bay of Quinte. Uh, we did a quick pit stop at the Belleville, one of the marinas there, got some gas, filled up water, and we're just motoring our way through. Winds are really light. Um, it's very nice. Cottage country, very calm. The cottages are super beautiful. And the water's a little brown, probably from some of the rivers, but still very clean, very nice, um, beautiful. This is Savannah's bath. We filled up a tub of water. Trying to let it warm up in the sun, but it did just do a little sprinkly rain. And we'll see how her bath time goes today. She hasn't had a bath in like a week. <laughs> her great parents. Oh, this is Etienne in his natural habitat. <laughs> Eating 
one, chips and salsa, and two, spilling them all over the place. Yes, I caught him. <laughs> what you doing? Samantha and I are making some breakfast. She's playing with toys. But let me tell you, being able to pick your weather window for sailing has been a game-changing event. We've always gone on two-week vacations where it's do or die, you're going to the Bahamas today or you're not gonna have two weeks of vacation in the Bahamas and you pick the worst weather windows because you can't really pick it, weather happens and you picked your vacation 400 years ago. So anyway, having two months and you get to pick when you wanna go, where you go, it is unbelievable. We stayed a couple days in Toronto because the weather wasn't good um, and we would have been beating up wind and we decided to wait. We had a beautiful downwind sail slash motoring. There wasn't a ton of wind. Today, we are currently in, I think what they call is the North Channel in the, where the Bay of Quinte kind of comes into Lake Ontario. There's not a single wave and we are just flying between the islands here. It is so beautiful. So definitely liking this change of, uh, not change of pace, definitely liking this change. Okay, we have a trimaran friend. I just spotted him and I did a, <gasps> and the Tim thought something broke, but it was me spotting a trimaran. And now we're both freaking out because they're catching up to us. And as racers, we're like, okay, what sail are we putting up? How do we go faster? <laughs> It's too funny. And we're trying to guess what kind of boat it is, a ferry or something, and who it is. Let's go say hi. They're gonna be here in no time because they're so freaking fast and we have 5,000 pounds of Savannah's toys. <sighs> we'll keep you posted. the trimaran story um, was quite interesting so he almost caught us didn't catch us and then he turned around because I'm sure he's local and he just wanted to come out for a sail and say hi um, at that exact same time I had a pillow fly off the boat and it sounds like man too bad it's gone he hates my loose things all over the boat and I was like actually it's kind of good timing should we stop turn around grab the pillow and maybe he'll come and we can say hi so long story short we turned around when he turned around and he thought, you know, we were gonna come say hi, but we were just trying to grab a pillow and also say hi. And there was a lot of swirly circles trying to catch this pillow and he probably thought we were totally crazy, but that's okay. We ended up getting kind of close, but it was super windy so you couldn't hear each other. We were trying to say hello and all that stuff. Uh, he found out we had a contour and from Michigan, so. Very nice, and he lives here in the North Channel with his trimaran, and he's super cool. This is the culprit pillow. It's drying now. <laughs> Caught by Etienne single-handedly steering and sailing the boat, and I was just flailing around trying to catch it, didn't catch it, and he caught it, so thank you.